So here we are looking at uh, this morning's uh, May 1st uh, weather and what you can see uh, and what we've got going on is in this area right here where I'm moving the cursor you can actually see a, a small low pressure system floating around right there it just kind of spins around it's being driven in part by the air moving uh, out of the tropics and you can actually see the amount of moisture uh, that it develops uh, over the course of the day look at that uh, thundercloud development that's a lot of thunder clouds going on very different than uh, the week that we had uh, severe tornadoes about two weeks ago um, it's also being driven in part by this high pressure so there's a high pressure coming in and it's swinging right down there okay and you can actually see it rolling this way okay so it's it's incorporating moisture from the tropics okay and that's driving this little uh, circle right here which is actually relatively dry and that's because this moisture got wrung out of the uh, atmosphere up higher here um, and then uh, this is moist air here and then uh, anyhow so we can see this uh, spinning and then right here it looks like it's nice and clear over Hawaii you can actually watch those clouds just like bing they'll form in there that's another that's a high okay you can see it right there okay and then in this area right here you can actually see um, the lifting effects from the Sierras um, as this goes along you'll see this white line kind of sharply pop up right there look at that look at that that's just this that's the Sierra crest that we're looking at right there uh, and the lifting that goes on uh, here a little bit further south if we were to continue this line down you can actually see more uh, cumulus uh, development this is all lifting from the heating that's going on um, uh, in South America and off the uh, off the east uh, eastern Pacific um, so but this is all being lifted up and moisture is being carried aloft and and deposited here as it's being lifted by cooler air so you're getting uh, cool air that's actually surging down probably this way and lifting that so there you go okay so if we were to look for the jet stream in this so you can actually see the jet stream kind of tracking along here and it goes right along oh and you can see just a little bit of a faint um, a faint uh, low developing right there okay goes in and here we have this is another low that forms right here you can actually see it kind of hooking around in there but it goes in and then back so this is a trough that we're looking at and then it dips back down again actually it looks to me like it kind of loops in there and then you've got another branch of it that kind of goes up over the top uh, way up high so there's a there's a, a little branch here and then you can see the jet stream again picks up and this this flows right off the east coast uh, actually center of the Atlantic and it goes right on up it's pretty classic uh, towards Iceland and Greenland so that's the overall synoptic flow um, you might say well this looks like this could uh, cause some pretty severe weather well it's causing thunderstorms but it's not um, producing the kinds of um, tornado like weather that we saw uh, a couple weeks back and that's the big thing and you can anyhow so that's that's a, the overall flow the jet stream um, you know has basically moved a little bit more out of California it's going to drop down go right uh, kind of across from about you know, Eureka down to about Tahoe uh, at this point so that's uh, a look at the weather May 1st